Hi Capricorns, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at the first week of February, February 1 through 7. Big news for you this week Capricorns because there is a rather uh, intense conflict involving four planets on Saturday, February 6. In one corner of the ring, the Moon and Venus are smashed into an uncomfortable conjunction with crisis-loving Pluto in Capricorn a feminine sign that represents a passive position. I don't know if you know that about yourself, but you are a feminine sign. So that means that you're not one to usually, you know, get into bar fights or get into, you know, uh, crazy altercations. You prefer to talk things out, you know, amenably. Now, Uranus is threatening this trio with a square from Aries, who is a very masculine sign, a masculine sign of active aggression. Because Uranus is also the master of surprise, this conflict can be a game changer that comes about through a gut punch, meaning that, you know, something really surprising that you did not see coming happens. The Sun and Mars are in the neighbourhood, but are not able to offer much help because on Sunday, February 7, they square off against each other. This uber power mix could mean war Capricorns, but it could also be a reflection of the offensive and defensive lineups that will face each other on Sunday, February 7. That's the day football fans will be gathering around TV screens all over the country to eat, drink and cheer on their favourite team at Super Bowl 50. According to the stars, it looks like no matter which team wins, it's going to be a game to remember. And I think it could be quite a uh, fisticuff, you know, you know, a little bit of, you know, they scream, get off the field and all that. You know, in Australia, you just keep going. It's all very strange, the football they play here. So Capricorns, you are firmly in the mix of this planetary activity. Venus, the Moon and Pluto all in your sign and all fighting and jockeying for position. It's really important that you don't allow anybody to push your buttons, especially an Aries or a Scorpio. And they're the two people that could very well push your buttons. Even an Aquarius could push your buttons. And if you feel like somebody's trying to put you in a corner and get you to say or do something that you really don't believe in or want to say or do, stand up for yourself and make sure that you are totally in control of yourself. You wouldn't have it any other way. But sometimes, just to keep the peace, you might be tempted to say, oh, well, you know what, just forget about it. Just We'll just do it your way. Well, not this time. It's uh, really a good idea to stay on point. Have a wonderful week Capricorn. It's great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.